guys, Anime Night here, and we're back with a new video. If I had a Crunchyroll bingo card right now, I would have a fucking bingo right now. Sony-owned Crunchyroll disables comments, user reviews, in order to reduce harmful comment and prevent misinformation. Oh, we are so scared of of honest opinions and everything like that. This comes to no one's surprise given what Sony did to uh to write stuff anime what they're what they did with the Funimation Crunchyroll um merger which by the way we called that out a long time ago and this is the direct result of that this is the direct result of the merges that have been going on since, Activ since Activision and Blizzard. And now we got, and this is now the fallout of this one in the anime world. The parallels are, are both the same here, people. You just gotta learn to sit down and pay the fuck attention. The change, com the, the change comes because they want to leave com they don't want us to leave comments about like certain animes or give our full thoughts on it if, it if this anime is good if this anime is not good why it sucks why it's this that and the other or hey this has all the stuff going on with the butchered um with the butcher translations and everything happening, they don't want that information getting out because they want to maintain the pure innocent perfect image that they have and it was first brought to attention by on, on July 7th which was yesterday made by a reddit user uh, uh, Tao I'm just gonna say Tao just for the sake of consistency to the unofficial Crunchyroll subreddit Finished. He, he goes to say this. Finished an episode of a show and made a comment. Switched apps and then came back to find the comments section gone. They were lead, They relayed to their fellow platform users. Though it was a bug, but apparently they decided to suddenly blanket wipe everything. Real quick, side note. Sexy Yamoto. Sexy as always. Moving on. Another user then took screenshots of his interactions with the uh, with the support team of Crunchyroll. I do, and and this is the copy and paste um, a message that I know a lot are probably gonna get. This is them not 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 giving a crap. They they, they don't care. They hate us so badly. Um, the backlash to this is massive because this just comes after Rotten Tomatoes started doing this stuff, where they've been. Manipulating the com their comment section too, so this comes to no surprise, because Sony hates everything. They hate the criticism. They don't want us to have a voice, and that's just the way it goes with these people. And that's why I say boycott Sony, walk away, go get, go play different games, go support other companies. Same with Crunchyroll. We've been watching different animes on other sites and everything, and we like the the, the enjoyment and all of that in between. Hell, we still have physical copies. Keep buying those. However, however given how quickly and resol resolutely this, this change has been enshrined as a matter of official policy, it present it presently seems unlikely that the platform or the parent company Sony will actually listen to your users and roll it back. No, they, 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 they won't listen. They, they won't. Between everything, it's going to get worse. A lot worse. What do you guys think? Comment down below because this is really another nail in the, in the Crunchyroll coffin. And of course, Sony just does not care. They, they they do not care. And Sony hates anime. That's a fact. Keep supporting. Keep liking. Share the share the content. Support the anime and support every industry you can find. Support the creators. And I'll catch you all soon. Take care.